Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Hardcore Heroes. So, uh, Van, you wake up. The floating yeah. bear eventually dies, and its corpse. Oh, and so, like, he's still sling. It's still alive, and he's slinging at it when I wake up, right? Yeah. So, Malachi, what are you? What are you doing to that poor bear? Well, um, I was feeding it, and then Kine over here tried to show off by making it its friend, and it starts to try and kill him. You didn't feed anything. I was first trying to lure. Uh, at first, yeah. I was trying to lure it away, but it's a fucking grizzly bear, so of course it didn't uh, do anything. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason to kill it, is there? I mean, look at that thing; it's terrified. Well, no, I think it should die now. It's this is. I mean, in Malachi, hindsight, Malachi, this is let pretty... it go. Let it go. No, no, no. It's not gonna okay. leave look, us alive. I, if it comes back any time in the future, I'll have a spell ready for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Van, but you can go back to sleep. I'm killing this bear. And I'm Malachi, making a just it. listen. Let it go. It's really, what the fuck is this? Is I this could... some sort of mutiny? <laughs> <laughs> Malachi, I could, I could turn this bear into an ally if it tries to stick around. How much HP? Like, how fucked up is the bear at this point now? Is oh, it right, it's or... like dying. You know, it's bruised all over. It's leaking blood from... All, you know, its face and its sides, its claws are bent back in areas. Okay, I think it's learned its lesson. Just let him down. <laughs> well, why didn't you learn your spells? You can heal it up and turn it into our friend, and then I'll let it down. I mean, will your levitate last that long? Just go ahead and start lowering it a bit so it doesn't come crashing to the earth. How long has it been now? Since it was levitated? Yeah. Like, 20 minutes. Yeah, we've got, well, we've got about 50 minutes left. Okay. So I'll start memorizing some spells. Let me charm person or mammal. Also, I want to speak with animals. Malachi, just let it down. If I, if it takes us again, I end. It. Okay. Speak with animals. That's 20 minutes. Fine. And charm person or mammal is second level. So that's 40 minutes to memorize spells. But then I also want to grab a couple others. I just want well, to refresh kind of, them. It's coming down before that, though. All right. I'm just going to do another 10 minutes. So 60 minutes. Does that work? Or sorry, 50 minutes. Does that work? I mean, I guess. it's so, kind of hard to judge the time, though, isn't it? So yeah. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take one more healing spell. So that's 15 minutes memorizing, and then I cast Speak with Animals. And I'm gonna speak with this bear as it's like being brought back down to the ground. I'm backing up. I'm not being part of this. So Malachi, you're going to lower the the animal to the ground, and Van, you're gonna cast what on it? I'm going to cast Speak with Animals as it's being lowered to the ground. Okay. I'm gonna go with. <laughs> so stupid. All right, I back up. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, the range is touch. Okay. Oh no, well, it's one well, animal within thirty feet. Never mind. Okay. Within yeah. 30 so feet. I, I can't speak with animals, and I um, I start speaking with the bear, and I say, "You're looking a bit injured, friend." Fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna rip your head off! I'm gonna oh, eat wow. you! I'm Look. gonna shit you out of my cave! Come here! Come Look, here! If you, if you keep oh, talking God. like that, we'll have to kill you. But if you calm down, motherfucker! I will Bring it heal. on! I will heal your wounds if you calm down. I'm gonna rip you to pieces! Oh god! This is the worst. So once he's once he's getting low to the ground, but not quite on the ground yet, I'm just gonna kinda like be in range to cast cure light wounds as he's being lowered down. I'm gonna it's heal like, the thing, that's gonna fight you. Come on, so I, I'm gonna do that. And once it gets uh someone can do a cure light wounds, gets D8 HP back. Uh, you have to touch that. it to cure light wounds it. Yeah, it's in the air still, so I'm like up on its side while it's being lowered down, stuck in the air. I mean, it's, you know, it can turn to face you. It doesn't let you approach it from behind. It can turn around in the air. Right. I'll, I'll just like say, I, I have to touch you to do this, but it's it's going to help. Trust I'll me. I'll fucking rip you to pieces. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna touch him with. <laughs> okay. The he makes wounds. an attack at you. <laughs> All right. That's fine. 19 AC. Um, hits your your what do you call it? Um, stone skin. All right. Uh, so removing I... your last stone skin charge, but you can All go right. ahead and heal the bear. Yeah, so I heal him for D8. His stone skin was already gone, gone now. Um, he took damage it was, from the boss. Yeah, it was gone. Okay, oh, the okay. bear hits you. I forgot to mark off his last charge. Um, the grizzly bear successfully claws you for four points of damage. Okay, I do heal him. You heal the, the bear for four points, okay. And then I cast, I'm going to say, I'm going to do it again. You're feeling better, right? I'm going to fucking murder you! You're right, you're all cast, evil monsters! I cast, I cast <laughs> charm person or mammal. <laughs> charm person or mammal? He now regards me as a trusted friend. Gets a save, doesn't he? He does get a uh, save. He, unless he accepts it, because I was healing him. 
Oh, he does not accept it. This bear is okay. pissed. He's been lifted into the air and then pelted with stones for right. 20 minutes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> After people taunted him with food. This is one unhappy bear. All right. He fails the saving throw. All right. Just so, barely, though. Will you calm down a little bit here? Let me, let me help you. Fucking <clears throat> those guys. We gotta kill them. We gotta eat those. No, those no, two no, over no, there, no. they're monsters. No, no, no. I trust these two. No, 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 no. We gotta eat them. Look, I'm sure they wouldn't have done that to you. I'm I'll, I'll rip them to shreds. Them. You hide behind me. I got them, man. <laughs> Fucking tear them to bits. I'm, I'm sure. I'm so close to the ground. Just let me at them. Come on. No, 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 no. Help me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen Malachi, to me. have you brought them all the way down yet? Yeah. Uh, um... <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, th I, I think so. Yeah. All right. So uh, he's reaching the ground as once, he's saying once this. He start, if I see him like start to move toward them, I'm gonna do like you know like when you break up a fight a fight between friends, you just kind of like hold one back. I'm gonna I'm kind of you're gonna that, hold like, the bear back. I'm not, I, I know I can't hold him back. He's like a fucking oh my god, this bear. Bear. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in front of him and just kind of try and like sort of be like no 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 calm down just kind of so like, his feet and, hit the ground he like in, yeah, no, puts his, his neck around you and just starts like moving past you. He's six hundred pound grizzly bear. Uh, he moves past you and starts galloping towards Malachi with a. <laughs> As he goes by, then I, I give up and I just I swing my scimitar at him. <laughs> Give me a roll to hit. All right, I get bonus for Kine? back attack. What yeah, are you doing? I will. I will attack it too. Twenty three. Twenty three is a hit. Kind, make me roll to hit with your bow. Takes eight damage. So that's more than I healed him for. It is. I think the pit margin. Um, he should drop. I had never I figured out what my... HP was at at that time. So, kind, what are you rolling to hit? I attack with my uh, broadsword, by the way. Okay. Thirteen. Um, no bear. AC is fourteen. So close. Back, at, back attack though, maybe. No. I think. I guess not. Probably I think he's not. Probably going to. Uh, I, I think you two are probably together. So. Yeah. All right. So the the bear is uh, he's probably dead after that. We never decided how much what HP I mean, he was at. I did he double was close the damage that I healed him from. So yeah, yeah. I'll, probably... I'll tell you what, I would be pissed if I died like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it almost you still have stone skin on. You're totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it can kind of grab you and do extra damage. Like yeah, the chance it could. It could yeah, rip that's the base bear say something. <sighs> the moment his best friend. Is. <laughs> No, he, 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 just dies. he dies. All right. <laughs> maybe well, with a, I trusted you. <laughs> <clears throat> maybe you well. shouldn't have been so stupid. And then Van just kind of like, well, I'm only an over. animal with two to four intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> and then Van just kind of walks over and says, well, that was disappointing, but at least we tried. I have to say. Oh, yeah. At least we tried. <laughs> For a two to four intelligence uh, creature, it could speak really well. You know, that's why those speak with animal spells are so weird. It's like, <laughs> it's not like the animals are capable, like, they, they can't speak. It's not like you just don't understand their language. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, they don't. I, I imagine it, like, conveys them with the ability of speech. Because, like, animals, like, no animals know language, right? They right. might have communication systems, but they don't have language. Right. You might be able to argue that, like, maybe some dolphins or gr apes or parrots have some apes, sort of apes rudimentary. Don't have language. I, I learned about this. Chimps have, like, a very complex communication system, but it's not language. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I'm not sure yeah. I can trust you to keep watch after that, Van, but I need to get some sleep. Relax. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't levitate any bears and sling them with rocks. I, I, I feel like that that was really the big problem. I feel like if we had never levitated him and slung him with rocks, we might have been able to befriend him. Oh, just no, not. In all fairness, though, he probably would have eaten you if I'd have just left him alone. So. Maybe. Yeah. I, it, just a bad situation all around. Sometimes, sometimes things just don't go your way. Yeah, but better a bad situation for a grizzly bear than for us. Mm. All right. Just, what can you do? Okay, please. Don't, I can't discuss I mean, it right now. Look, you know, I'm just cleaning up your mess here, kind. My mess? Yeah. I, I it's your job. You're the one meant to being friends with the bear. That's how it goes, right? I, was... I, I try. I, it was friendly towards me. And you know what happened? It started eating our supplies. So I tried to stop it. All right. Well, look, whatever. But right, I dealt look, with this the is, problem. This is a bit silly. Let's just, let's, let's get some sleep. Oh, now it's silly. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> now it sounds getting silly. <laughs> Alright, so it's almost noon. <laughs> um, Van Helsing has a full supply of spells minus the charm person or mammal and the... Yeah, the and cure one cure light wounds, wounds cure light and speak yeah. with animals. So I have three second level spells and four first level spells. Where, where's otherwise normal. By the way? 
Jeeves is there. Oh, we go to sleep. Uh, yeah, well, Jeeves, Jeeves we, is around. He's been hiding from the bear, but... We, we kind of have to spend the afternoon, don't we? Because it's only midday. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we, spend the, we spend the day shooting the ship. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are no more random encounters over the course of the day. All right, I'll keep uh, watch for the night. Sure. All right. like, I, I slept midday, so I'll just, I'll just keep watch for the night. It's probably fine. So we're going spelunking again tomorrow, right? Yeah, so I think we're just in our same little hiding spot, trying to sort of stay out of, uh, out of sight. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's my spells for the next day, and I'll cast a stone skin on Van when I wake up. Cool. <clears throat> I do still have that poison spell memorized, so maybe, maybe it'll be used for something. Uh, Van, don't forget to neutralize the poison in you. Uh, I can't do that today. I already, already memorized my spells, but don't worry. It, I, I'm holding it for the next uh, six days now, so it'll be fine. Oh, okay. uh, slow poison is one hour per level. Yeah, but I, I did hold poison on me. Okay, cool. Um, so you guys pass the night uneventfully. Y'all wake up the next day rested. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Van's coffee is wearing off, uh, but the sun's coming up, so that's good enough. Yeah. No, memorize my spells. Takes mm-hmm. me a while because... <clears throat> I cast quite a few. Takes one hour, one hour and thirty, one hour and seventy. So two hours, ten minutes. Yeah. After I wake up, cast stone skin on Van. All right. You endow him with D four plus three charges. Nice. Yeah. Oh, actually, Neil, can I can I change one of these spells on the list here? Sure. You just woke up. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to sub out one of the magic missiles for detect magic. Okay. Yeah. And I think we will do the same routine as before in the mine. All right, you guys yeah. head left again at the the, yeah, the, the fork think, and everything? Yeah. Let's we finish off that, that same tunnel, yeah. We okay. leave Jeeves at the... Uh, but screen. this time, now that we've recovered some of the stones, we can... We can use the stone to like Van's got his eyes closed fifty feet ahead to stop any basilisks running towards us. Mm-hmm. And then I can throw the stone like a hundred feet past him to check the area, and then I can tell him that it's safe and he can open his eyes and walk forward. Right? Mm-hmm. So that's how we can walk. With all being able to see and checking that the way is clear by using the stones. Yes. Run that by me again? I don't think okay. I fully understood that. So me and Kyna fifty feet behind uh, Van. Yeah. Right. Van's got his eyes closed. Right. I get one of the continual light stones and roll it past Van, like 50 to 100 feet past him. Mm-hmm. We then can say, me and Kine, because we we got our eyes open, we can say, it's clear. Then Van can open his eyes and walk forward to where the stone is. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And pick up the stone, close his eyes, and... And then we do it again, because we've got three stones. Slow, sure. slow progress. Sure. Yeah. Right, we, should, uh, way... we should head down the path that we took before and see what we uh, what we find. Yeah. yeah, you make your way back to this same section of the map uh, or of the mine. All right, uh, and we start and it... looking around inside this room. Uh, well, we should make clear that there are no basilisks left in this. Yeah, room. I think I think we're um, I want to I want to because we're gonna explore this room, but we're still being careful. So Van does the same sort of like slow entry into the room, but if it if it doesn't seem like there's an ambush or anything, he's just gonna kind of like right. go around. Check out the walls, sort of scope out the room. Okay. So you look down from the ceiling, uh, start looking around the room, when you see in the back corner of the room two tiny basilisk hatchlings, babies. Mm-hmm. Um, there are two really small ones. Now, it doesn't say when their stone skin ability kicks in. Um, I don't think it'll really matter because Van's going to go up Eyes, eyes closed. Well, I'm more concerned about the moment that you see them. You know, I when you start looking think... around and you're like coming uh, okay, down from but the... Wouldn't, I have 60 feet of range on my light stone, so wouldn't they be out of a... But if they're in this, again, this little corridor here, this this area is not necessarily 60 feet. Uh, okay. You know, so like, um, you, it's not like you have you have to come around the corner okay. to so see if where they're they like, are. If they're brand new hatchlings, would they have their stone gaze they're ability? They're not quite brand uh, new. Yeah. Let me read That's this section again. Train basilisks. So, uh, at least I read it somewhere. So it would make sense if you, they only have fully capable to petrify someone if they're an adult basilisk because if you uh, have to I train, think that is a stretch. I think that you could train if you want rolling, if you were hold on. so they they've been rolling a stone ahead of me all this time, right? 
Would yeah. they have rolled it into the room first and noticed these things before I did? They wouldn't yeah. have noticed them yeah. because they're off to the sides and you can't see around the corner, right? You don't, okay. you can't see through the walls. Sure. I, yeah. I, I think if they're just hatchlings, it wouldn't make sense if they immediately can petrify people. Well, it's not like they hatched yesterday. They are basilisk young. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, it's also like we're playing it very safe here because, like, yeah, we I hear you. And I'm not just like going, oh, clearly there's no basilisk because we don't know if there's only three in this. Right, game. but like you come around the room, nothing attacks you, and like at some point you have to lower your gaze. These creatures right. are down to are... the floor, which is like. I mean, I'm still trying to avoid eye contact at any point. Because, like, yeah. I know that at any time I could walk around a corner and run into a basilisk, and I wouldn't want to accidentally meet its gaze. Mm-hmm. I hear you. But I think that in a situation like this, there is still some chance of that occurring, right? right. Being I, I know that there's a chance. I just don't think it's going to be like, oh, yeah, you just you walk in. It's not going to be a, a standard save. Yeah. I think... I think, Neil, you should get him to roll a dice to see if he locks eyes with it, and then he should get a bonus to his save, because it's a young. That makes sense. Like, they they have the gaze, but it's weaker. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the gaze would be all that much weaker. If you look at scorpions and other poisonous animals, the young sometimes are more dangerous, I know because they release more venom, and I know the eyes and the venom are not quite the same, oh, but it is a magical yeah. effect. Yeah, what, what oh, that's actually true. Huh? No, that's what I've heard. Wait, Near one important thing, if they get their gaze that early, they could kill their parents with it. Basilisk's gaze are, uh, it's they not automatic. Start, like, uh, you also run into the problem of basilisks, how do they mate, right? Clearly mm -hmm. they can they, turn they all their abilities on and off. Like, it's not yeah. a constant <laughs> kill gaze. Uh, yeah. then, that, then that's a question, would these young basilisks know it to immediately turn on their gaze? That's well, true. You know, they're Maybe threatened. Uh, a situation like that, it makes sense to me. If they, if they didn't know how when to appropriately use their gaze, they probably would never have survived. You know, like, yeah, it's a defensive I mean, maneuver. is the thing, yeah. though. Yeah, like, they're, they're young. They're, young. they're not trained. All right, so I want you to... I'm going to say um, these creatures are, are small. They're young. They're more afraid than they are um, defensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a... Um, I'm going to so say I mean, it's a 40% a, a chance of having to make a save. So Isn't it normally a 20% chance if you're trying to avoid eye contact? Yeah. Um, it is. That is not... That's it not is. a... Because I've, I've had... Like, I, I mean, I think everybody's used Basilisk before, and I know that it's like, you can try to fight them with your eyes open, but there's always like a 20% chance that you might accidentally make eye contact. That might be Medusa. That, that's that's is not... what I rolled last, that is what I rolled last session. Yeah, yeah we did okay. have Nick roll 20%. Okay. Well, uh, this is 40% because they're a little bit smaller, but it's I, still I want low. the same thing. I, I'm good. Yeah, 40% of... Uh, I, I, I wanted yeah, yeah. 60 or you low. Called, yeah, yeah, you called I want low. Uh, I did call that's it. That's good. Good Whew. call. All right, All so right. you, you kind of see the creatures and then quickly look away, maybe catching mm -hmm. just the rump of one of them. All right, uh, and then they're I, like. Uh, two or three feet long i say we have two two babies in here but they're going i mean they're still dangerous obviously okay i think we just have to uh, get rid of them uh, and uh, move forward then remember to hold your breath i don't think do we have any poison resistance on you uh no i think i'll have to hold it i mean i can hold it for five minutes right neil hold what my breath, breath? yeah uh you can hold it for ha one third your con rounded down if you are minutes. active like do, in combat or running mm -hmm. or really doing anything, it's halved from that rounded up again. Okay, so three rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna just go up and I'm gonna. I mean, they're they're hatchlings, right? They're pretty much defenseless. Would I be able to just like cut into one? I don't think you or anyone you've ever known has met a basilisk hatchling or young, as we should call it. Uh, it might be defenseless. Or it might be I, very I, dangerous. I actually, before going forward, how far away from it was it? Or how far away from you was it? Like 20 feet. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit and say, Malachi, can you can you fireball those things? Um, but what if uh, what if there's some stuff in here we need? When, when I like caught when I caught a glimpse of one of the basilisks, was there like a big treasure pile or something? Or was it just kind of like rocks? Just um, just keep them see a treasure pile. And I'll kill them. I can see a treasure pile? You did not see a treasure pile. Did not. Okay. Just keep them entertained, Van. I've got it. Okay, and Van is gonna like move forward toward them with his eyes closed. 
Not necessarily. Right. I guess I might not be able to attack because I don't know where they are, but I'm going like, to jab my scimitar forward trying to like feel my way up. So breath, oh, no. breath yeah. held, eyes closed, walking towards the basilisks, jabbing your sword? Yeah, not necessarily like at them, but I'm like tapping the ground with my sword trying to find sure. where they are. So Neil, can you look at the map? Yeah. Uh, hypothetically, if that's where they are. Hypothetically. Yeah, they're they're in the, where... the bottom left corner. They're over here instead, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Uh, if, that's where, if that's where Van is going, then I see Van over there, right? Because I see the light. Mm -hmm. you no, know, that's where he's gone. So I'm going to close my eyes and run around here. And then turn around and open my eyes and look at them. Assuming that this looks like it would be, you know. Does the thing look longer than 60 feet? You might be able to judge that. Well, I'd love to I mean, not until you, you run in. And, uh, da, 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 da. Um, you oh, yeah. are, oh, yeah. it's what, 20 feet on the other side. So it's uh, 40 plus the width of the corridor, 45 feet across. They, You are within the creature's gaze, Malachi. And the question was if he can discern if it's 40 feet or 50 feet. I mean, he'd be able to like, look up and just kind of get it from there, right? I mean, they're, they're small creatures. Yeah, yeah, he can just look up. and. But he see. needs to look at them to cast a spell at them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the first question is like, yeah, like how how much does it seem? That's what I'm asking. You, you've told me now it's it, in range. It so looks, it, you know, it looks like 50 feet across ish, uh, and you're not sure what the gaze range close. of these creatures are. You've been at 60 <laughs> before and been okay. This looks to be about 50 ish. Um, said, I don't know what to do now, Leo, because you've kind of told me that it's I in know. range. Yeah, we said six feet is uh, 60, 55 feet is a safe distance. So. So this is 50-ish. Um. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll make the roll if you want me to, but I guess err on the side of caution is what I would do. Um, all right, I'll give you a, I don't know, a plus two bonus to your roll because Van's blocking the creatures partially with his body. So he's, wait, is that a D100? No, so it's a saving throw versus petrification with a bonus of two to the actual die roll. So roll me a d20 plus two. And hope someone's got flesh to stone. It's 45% chance now. Uh, well, I mean, fucking basilisks running in round corners. That's a that's a scary thing. What are you going to do if you die? What do you mean? You don't well, have to turn to stone. I mean, okay, if you turn to stone, you're not immediately dead. You're, you're well, just, have, he does have to make a system shock save. Uh, well, is that right? No, I mean, let's. Uh, there, there are ways to revert people to flesh. Yeah, sure. Stuff. Let's roll the the die roll and see what happens. Coming around the corner, it's a little more narrow than you had hoped. Looking towards the basilisk. Ah, fuck. Malachi is overcome with rockiness. Well, actually, he looks the same. You guys don't notice the difference <laughs> in Malachi, other than he's not moving. And then he continues to not move and not. Well, I guess you guys, no one's looking at him. Malachi yeah, goes smart. around the corner and then goes quiet. So wait, did he not get the D? Because he wasn't trying to. He wasn't but, trying to yeah. make eye contact in the first yeah, wait, place. Like he knew they were there. Yeah. He knew they were yeah. there, and he was trying to size up the room. I if I distinctly remember him saying, "I move in, go to the other side, and look at them." Uh, right, but you can try and look at them without making eye contact, and he has a twenty percent chance of making eye contact. Is yeah. in the rules. I, also, also, they are not. Uh, probably not. Right, to start off, that's not in the rules under the basilisk section. That is what we have done in the that's past. Gotta be, there's got to be somewhere. Yeah, I like, think that's, that that's might be under can... Medusa, but it is not under basilisk. Yeah, okay, also, but it... yes, no, we don't have the stats for us, uh, basilisk hatchling, and they are not focused on him, right? They are focused on Van, who's uh, standing right in front of them. You know, if it's not, if it's not under basilisk, let me see if it's under like the DMG, like for combat. So it might be under the combat rule. section for DMG. It's definitely yeah. not under the Basilisk section. I know um, that there's a rule related, because I've, I've done this before, and I remember reading about it being a 20% chance of accidentally making eye contact. Yeah. And even if they're young and looking towards Van, they're still, like, you know, you can't necessarily distract these creatures. It's 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 their natural attack, right? They, they are... Um, what, what's the, it's like instinct to try and make you know, uh, make they, con eye contact with a threatening presence. I mean, they have smaller eyes. Wouldn't maybe they have a? It's a magical way. ability. It transcend. It moves into the astral pl and ethereal plane. I don't Chad, think the size of the eye really matters. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask Chat really fast. Where is the rule for this? Because I know that this is in one of the books somewhere. Where is the Where is the twenty percent chance rule? Yeah. Also, it was used books. last session. So. That's the only thing I've got now. Is the you know. Trying not yeah. to look directly at them. Yeah. yeah. 
Let's see if we can find it in I here. Count these under gaze attacks in DMG. It says combat. in the DMG combat section. Yeah, I'm gaze sorting through the combat page. So I'm going right now. Uh, poison energy direction. I mean, Neil, last session you even used it when Malachi tried to not look at the basilisk and discern where it was. Yeah. But again, his words were, I look at them. Yeah, but first he wanted to discern. Characters can also attempt to avoid the gaze by the general direction of the creature without actually looking into its eyes. This enables the character to see the target well enough to fight normally without falling victim to its power. <laughs> However, there's a 20% chance each round that an attacker trying this trick will accidentally meet the gaze of the creature. All right, give me 20%. Uh, D100, Malachi. Zero to 20 uh, is dead Z's. Do Wait, does he want high or low? Zero to I 20 is dead Z's. Okay, you want high. All right. <laughs> Second chance, fuck me. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. so he, you he the spot direction. the creatures and its head pivots towards you, and you manage to look away careful, just in time. Can I still cast a spell? Oh? It's, it it's says that what, he can look. It said uh, he can look and he can see them well enough without meeting their gaze. To, I guess to, that's sometimes true. You, sometimes you've got to stop when you're ahead, though. If you don't want to let me cast that's a spell, true. I'm happy to not cast. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you don't meet the creature's gaze, but it's definitely trying to meet your gaze. What do you do, Malachi? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, if I've seen it sufficiently to cast a spell, then I will, but if not... Go for it. I'm, cast I'm, your spell. All right. So I have magic missile. Um, is, there, is there a problem to cast to split it between the two? Are we saying no. I've seen one or have I seen both? I've seen both. Uh, you've seen both. Okay. So, first oh, one. Oh, wait, hold on. If there's two, we should probably do another 20% chance to make sure you don't see the other creature. I got there are two of them. Wait, Can you me? can't meet gaze with two creatures at once. Yeah. Um, also, but, you know, there's two creatures and you're looking down towards them. I think if we're going to say that you can split your attacks, then we're going to say that the both creatures could f uh, theoretically affect you. I got 93, though, Neil, so... Yeah, well against sense. one creature... Also, well, no. I think he wants you to do two. I want you to do the 20% for each creature. Well, I, in the room. I will say though that if there's a second gaze that he's trying to beat, then he should get a second save. Since yeah, yeah, did. yeah. The second the the save would apply okay. to that one as well, or it would be a different right. save for that one. He does have to make the save. So you do have to make the save, and since yeah, make the save. It's pass. pass. Nine's a pass. Plus two. You said you said plus two, right? You said plus right because he's in your way. Two. So an so eleven. A, yeah, eleven. I got plus two. <laughs> against petrification yep. is 11, 11 exactly so you're saying that is exactly on your pass yeah <sighs> all right roll your other d 2d4 plus two fuck me sometimes i feel bad for you neil because i feel like you want me to die <laughs> <laughs> six uh nine and six neither one of them dies and now they are pissed off um, well, maybe terrified and cornered. What's the the appropriate term for Ter that? Terrified might be right. I think. Yeah. Oh, and with this breath held, is going to try and swing at one of these this round. Yeah, sure, and right. uh, I just need to do. Something. I didn't have my go. <laughs> yeah, you're back in the hallway as well. Do they have lower AC than a typical basilisk since they're so young? Why don't you find out? All right, let's do that. Twenty one. Hit. Won't find out off that. <laughs> D eight plus three, seven. You kill one of them. Uh, Kine, you're in the corridor. You hear I, Malachi move around, or see Malachi move around the corner. Maybe some cursing, followed by little shiny bits of light flying in the other direction, and Van's sword cla slashing into things. Uh, I will run around to the left, close, of course, with, with eyes closed. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will not run, I will move. Of forward. course. <laughs> and? I, uh, I probably can't move with eyes, eyes closed far enough to make an attack. Uh, you could I definitely can... move far enough to make an attack. So you're going to move around the corner and make an attack? Uh, I will move and first discern where, where they are worse than. How the so, hell do you discern that? I think he's trying to feel for me. Yeah, with a sword, with my broadsword out. Without my, uh, so you're trying to feel for Van with your broadsword? Should, are we <laughs> making an attack against Van right now? I, I, think, I, this is, I think we're in the fan fiction territory. Just without making attack, I have a broadsword. Uh, I think he's like him? tapping him with it, like a right, cane. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. You can get adjacent to Van and make an attack. I'm going to give you 50 50 chance of being on the correct side of Van to attack w the living creature. Okay. Because, um, you know, there's two of them and he's kind of in between them. Uh, do you want evens or odds? Evens. It's an eight. Uh, I miss anything. Okay. It doesn't matter. 
the basilisk's turn. The poor critter is terrified out of its mind. There's all these giants, and its parents are dead, and it's been left in this mine with its dead parents for days. Um, <laughs> Neil, and the little... Neil, I'm holding my breath, by the way, so... Good. The little basilisk uh, tries to maul Van. Um, stone skin, so... All right, he breaks through three of your stone skin charges. Damn. These little fuckers are anti stone skin. Yeah. Like, I remember Georg's stone skin getting fucked up by a baby bat. <laughs> Uh, All right, and then I guess I... we roll initiative for the next round. Yeah. I'll just do it. Two. You guys go first. All right, I'm going to slash at it. Yeah, well, do I know, do I, know I was affected by the gaze? Is that a hit? That's a hit. Ten damage. Kills it. Uh, yes, you could feel yourself stiffening in your joints don't, before you, you shook like... it off. I, uh, I, you are very I... aware of your near-death experience. Yeah, I, I panic. I keep my eyes closed and do nothing. <laughs> Malachi, are you are you okay? He's like looking at Malachi just off in the corner by himself. No, those little fuckers almost got me. I slash out their eyes. All right. I don't. Th I don't think it would go after they're dead. I mean, if they have to activate it willingly, right? Would it continue? At I guess just we wouldn't know be, that as characters. That is, that is safe than sorry. Yeah, we we probably advice. don't know that as characters. No, I, I don't, but you guys are free to Van theory craft in game. Okay. I don't. I don't think Van would know that. So yeah, I guess I say, hey, could you try carving an eye out? Like maybe we could put it in our bag. It could be useful. Mm, I don't want to risk it. Are you kidding just, me right now, Neil? Did I just hear another growl? No. No, it's probably nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> did Mal Malachi hear something? I don't know. A... I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a very careful look around this room and see if there's any other basilisks. Like the kind of you know looking at the ground, trying to make sure that I see feet before anything else. No, no, it's just just the six pairs of legs of human legs. Nothing else. Okay. After, after having sl uh, slashing their eyes out, uh, I will listen. Well, um. Van Helsing, as you are looking around, what you do see are corpses of dead people. Looks like these uh, these basilisks have been having a uh, having a good time. Yes, and these are not like petrified people. These are yeah. live uh, fleshy. I mean, I mean that makes dead. sense. They they hit pretty fucking hard, so they might have just like killed these people and eaten them before they even had a chance to look at them. So, Van, where are these great rewards your God promised us? Well. It wasn't we, my god, it was, uh, it was a spell, Malachi. It's a little... it's a bit different. Also, also Malachi, we, there's still uh, probably a lot of the mine left to... Indeed. Actual. I mean, this is their nest, though, so perhaps... Uh, like, look around, do I see any treasure around this room? Uh -huh. Um, well, there's not, like, a pile of treasure, but there are the personal effects of a few dozen corpses that are piled in the corners. All right, I'm gonna look in these corpses and see um, what I find. Okay. We should we should do that later. We may, must make sure that there are no more basilisks or anything in here. This place well, could be huge, Kain. Yeah, I, I think we can take a few minutes here. Yeah. Just just keep an ear out, Kain. See if you hear anything coming. Uh, do uh, yeah. Do these people look like adventurer, adventurers or? Uh, it's like decayed corpses, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, there but are weapons and armor on them. The cool. armor is mostly chewed through uh, and pretty useless, but some of the weapons are still in good condition. All right. Uh, to, uh, be careful if there's anything magical in there. Well, I, I won't be able to tell until later. Well, if... I heard about cursed items. I mean... Well, I mean, I'd, I'd be able to remove it. Maybe Malachi could pick it up. I'm the one who can uh, remove a curse if it were to afflict any of us. Um, some, some of our shit is permanent, though, on. I can remove curses. Like, I, I can dispel curses. Yeah, but some of the effects, I think, are permanent. Sometimes. Can be. What have we found here, anyway? What is this? Uh, I mean, do you I'll... think an adventurer would be carrying around a cursed sword? I cast Detect Magic, Neil. You detect nothing magical in the room, other than the existing magic gear you possess. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Let's go. Do I, do I find any money on these? Oh, uh, yeah, these... you start pulling out all sorts of gold on these creatures. All right, start counting this for me. Um, it's going to take you a while to search through all the possessions of all these people um, and like kind of make sure that you found all the bags and properly That's sorted fine. out and everything. I mean, I, I, I did say, like, we can spend a few minutes just keep an ear out. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you dig through everyone's pockets and everyone's bags and everyone's pouches and come up with 733 gold. All right. 
Uh, silver? I'm not going to bother with copper, but anything uh, silver. No silver, copper, platinum, or anything else. Because okay. rules as written, we use the encounter table, the treasure tables, and uh, you only successfully found gold. So this this basilisk slayer had nothing but gold in it. Nothing but gold. Seven hundred gold for three greater basilisks. Three. Oh, did I? I might have. Hold on. I wrote those down before I looked at the table. That might be the wrong number. Yeah, greater basilisks. Three not greater basilisks. I'm looking. They're this. It's just one ladder. Oh no! Hold on. That is H instead of F. I yeah. did look at the wrong list. H is... I'm going to re-roll things? Yeah, H let me re-roll right. everything. Ignore All everything right. I just said. Okay, now, cool. you, haven't, now you haven't got the I chance mean, to... Um... Just, now you might get nothing. For all the people nothing. in chat who don't know, H is equal to a Shadow Dragon's Lair. In, yeah. in, mean, in means of category. Seriously? I mean, we might yeah. still get fucking nothing, because yeah. I'm pretty sure everything has a chance of being there. Uh, yeah, it's like 25% chance of this, 50% chance of that. Yeah. yeah. I'm just glad not to, be, not to be dead. Yeah, H is probably the biggest treasure. The best part is that a, a, an H treasure layer can still get you literally nothing if you roll badly enough. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Alright, uh, I take it back. There are no coins at all. No coins? No coins, no <laughs> gems. When, when Malachi did detect uh, magic, did he find anything? Nope, no magic items. You find oh, yeah. a, a couple of... Um, let's see, how many did we roll for that? Ten? Hold on, you find a few things. I just gotta okay. jot these down. I used the wrong table last time. Uh, remember, Neil, the spell said a great risk, great reward. So it had... Yeah. That would SDJ actually. Be. Brandon. <laughs> I mean, I would be a little mad if it like we rolled literally nothing on the treasure table, and it's like I, the, the spell would have lied at that point, and the spell can't lie. Yeah. The spell can't lie. It uh, measures risk to reward, so it has that great risk, great reward, so it has to be a reward equals three greater passes. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens. I don't know. The reward okay. is not being dead. <laughs> uh, continue what you're doing. Uh, you find ten things of value. I'll tell you what they are later. Um, okay. okay. Sure. So I think we just continue. I don't know. I mean, we continue to go through the uh, mines, right? Yeah, the same I might way. Well look around a little bit. Man in front, I was 50 foot behind, rolling the yeah. stones ahead. We find, uh, we find the mine only goes another 30 feet after this area and then abruptly stops. You can right. see uh, like a greenish copper ore vein still in the mine, um, but or still in the, the wall in front of you. But mm -hmm. it, so it looks like the mine was never finished, that there's still plenty more ore down here. It just was abandoned. That's cool. All right. Well, then okay. we're going to check no, out the rest of yeah, the, the other yeah. paths. Okay. Let's go right there are, there are no other monsters. We don't have to role play it all out. Um, okay. You take your time, probably the rest of the day, to explore the mines. Um, you find mm -hmm. similar like offshoots where there's uh, veins of metal all over the place. Okay. Um, clearly, the mine has a lot of potential left as a um, for, for mining for metal. Um, yeah. But no more monsters. No more treasure layers. Okay. Well, um, the job well done, I guess. If we were yeah. to start our own town, this is a good place to do it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Go hunting hell giants next time. Yeah, we gotta get that dragon skull back. Yep. That's worth what, a thousand gold? One thousand gold, yeah. Yeah. Maybe more than what we got from this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird that you get six magic items at a 15% chance. Shouldn't it be like... You roll each one? Yeah. Yep. I don't know. That's what they, that's what they put down. <laughs> Well, this is why I tend not to use rules as written because they don't make a lot of sense. I yeah. it, it's usually just like little bits that don't make sense, but you know, Things like we're this, playing rules yeah. as written. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the rules as written, you get you know some really good things and some really atrocious things with it. And yeah. uh, right now, it's good stuff for you guys. I do think it's oh. worth playing because it's it's like a nice way to gauge which things you like keeping simple and which things you're cool with uh, replacing and maybe making a little bit more cumbersome. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's organize these things. Um, oh God. So you find six what we would call art objects. Okay. All right. Are you keeping track of this, Sean? Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing we found. There's no gold, gems, or magic items. So um, six art objects. Yeah. Bustless just had a well furnished cave. Okay, you so you find in the pockets of one person are a a collection of golden figurines with different colored eyes in them. They're they're small. They're not all gold. They're um, some gold, some bronze, some copper, some iron, some silver, and it is a, a collection of the entire pantheon of gods in precious and semi precious metals with gemstones for their eyes. Okay. Cool. Um, then, <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, we'll we take those. Back. I guess we'll have to get them. We'll have to get them valued back in the town. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so thirty-four of these little statues. Thirty-four statues. Yeah, one for each of the gods. Oh, cool! So we got a bunch of statues. Yeah, yeah, they're, and they're all in. Um... Oh, they're all in like a case of some kind. Yes. Okay, and then there's five other art objects. There are nine other art objects. Oh god! So there's ten art objects total. There's ten art objects. Yeah, you guys okay. came across uh, some a mix of valuable things. Yeah, um, so I assume you just have to like roll for their value and everything. Should we just right. like? That's, I've done we... all that. I'm just gonna let you know what they are and kind of give you a rough description of each of them so you can gauge right. for yourself their value. Jeez. With precious statues of the gods. Okay, you find a um, uh, a chess set. The the board Ooh. is made out of um, varying different types of stone. It looks like some sort of black stone, maybe. Uh, um, called onyx or something okay. mixed with some sort of redstone um, and then the the case opens up and has like a little felt lined area for you to put all of these different pieces each of the pieces are a different style of crystal it looks like they're probably all quartz there's some nice. blue ones and some red ones so maybe they're you're not sure what what type of gemstones there these are but there are also these like stone um, cases awesome. for the figures these basilisks were great collectors. They were uh, they were connoisseurs <laughs> of the arts. Well, the people they attacked certainly had something, or the people that ended up in here I, certainly had. Some I got it. They were killing all these adventurers, and the adventurers were just carrying around fancy like art objects with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, they, probably... they had literally no money. They just had like really really nice art objects. Yeah, they previously defeated some other creature and just got it's like ah, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Oh, this random shit in here. There's no coins or anything. I guess we'll take this with us. Uh, you um, find you know, a, a holy symbol of Varasi. Holy symbol of Varasi. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that a nice one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, you find a, God, a whole bunch of shit now. Um, so you find a um, a hunting horn that is plated on the edges with silver and is uh, carefully carved. It looks elven in nature. All right. Um, actually, you find a pair of those. A pair of them. Mm -hmm. uh, there is... Um, <laughs> there is a, a, a rolled up piece of canvas. Okay. Uh, if I unroll it, is there something on it? Yeah, it looks like it's a um, some sort of painting or portrait that has just been like cut out of the the frame that it's supposed to be in, rolled up and shoved in someone's bag, and the poor chap died. Um, you don't know what the painting is of, though, or it, it's a, a portrait of a person, and you don't recognize the the figure. Nice. Is this a D one hundred table? I'm just curious. Are you, are you like just making these up on the spot? Oh, I'm just or making shit up, uh, yeah, on the uh, spot. Neil, I, like send you a I feel like you uh, send you a link in Discord. Shit. Um, what is this? It's like a random math. Oh, it's an R N randomizer. One, two, three, nice. Four. You should play. Uh, you should play Dwarf Fortress, Neil, because they're sometimes your dwarves will decide to create artifacts, and they'll make 
anything and like everything super detailed and described like your dwarf might make a master crafted dwarven ale mug that menaces with spikes of dog leather it's mm. it's weird yeah um there one of the uh, one of the swords here has a bejeweled scabbard and actually is bejeweled itself bejeweled what kind of sword long sword okay and there's two more. Um, I've only got six. You said there were ten, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. The statues, the chest set, the sword, the scabbard. Um, I'm counting those separate. The painting, there's two horns. Oh, sword and scabbard are separate? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I've got seven. Bones. And each horn is counted separately on the table as well. Oh, okay. Then I've got eight. Cool. Um, let's see. What else are considered art objects? the cool thing. I need two more cool things. Bejeweled sort of plus one wasted time. <laughs> uh. um, I'll come up with the other ones later. Let's not wait. Uh, well, okay, actually, we're yeah. basically at the end of our show today, so... Yeah, I mean, you could you could tell us over, um, like, after the session. Might as well, because yeah. we still have to travel back anyways. So you guys do exit the cave. Yeah. Uh, you find yeah, Jeeves so. outside. And he's wringing his hands and worry about whether or not you guys are going to make it. And I think Kain says to Madam Malachi, uh, I hope these items are worth well, at least worth a lot. You said that there's no magic. I kind of hoped for some more powerful items. Uh, I guess we could try and buy something in Stromheim, but. Well, we still haven't been to uh, Talon, was it? Yeah. Ben, ben, do you have use for that sword in Scabbard? Um, well, I'll see if it's magical. It's, or Malachi, didn't you check? It's not magical. Yeah, there's nothing nothing magical. Well, down there. We, we could look into selling it. I mean, I, I guess you could use it, kind, but I mean, do you really need such a fancy weapon? I think it might be better suited with gold in our pockets as a uh, display piece on somebody's wall. I have no need for gold, and better to have a fancy sword uh, that might come in handy. I mean,. I'd be fine with. I, I would like to sell this sword and buy you a new longsword personally. The, let's let's value it first. The remaining two items are a matched king and queen's crown. Matched king and queen's crown. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like good ones. I mean, I think we just sell all this and then use it to. I mean, with any luck, I might be able to afford like five pages of a spell book. <laughs> You know, uh, I excuse think... me, my lords. I I, I I don't mean to interrupt. I'm I'm so sorry for my rudeness. Um, if we're we're done here, can we? Or is it about time to head back? Sure. Uh, the horse no, uh, turns to stone, Jeeves. Well, so... what I can do, I could solipsism us a carriage with horses. Now, you guys would have to be able to believe this, but even if you didn't, we could still load all of these items up on the carriage and just uh, use it. What about the giants, though? Do we want, not want the dragon skull back? I think we should uh, go back to town and cover our bases before coming for them, personally. We spent quite a long time in the wilds. So we might want to head back and get some rest first. All right. That, that sounds like a very prudent operation, my lord. You, you know what, you two? Unless you want to open a mine here, I think it was a waste of time. Yeah. I say, guess we're heading to this um... Talon place. Yeah. We might be going... That, that might give us a ch chance to stop by Clyde still. You wanted some new dogs, didn't you, Malachi? Hmm. Yeah, I guess. We'll, we'll have we a... Just... Well, didn't well, you two want to go to Copper Hill? I know where we can get some magic items, though. Um, to be honest, I'm not particularly interested in Copper Hill anymore. But if Malachi does, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, we could go to Copper Hill. Um, maybe see if we can't excavate that temple. Maybe Joris would like to buy some of these things. Oh no, he's yeah. looking for gold, not uh, not art we objects. Could, we could maybe pick up some dwarves along the way and bring them with us and have them uh, mine out the temple for us. True. But, I, but you know, if we do want magic items, we our friend Zinli has a shop full of them, right? I don't. Uh, I don't think Zinli would be willing to part with those items. Yeah, no, at least not, not for us. So you guys uh, start heading out of the cave yeah. or the mine. Yep. Uh, how far is it to limestone? So it's like a full day to limestone. Okay, so a little I more think than what day. we 
I think what we'll do then is we'll head for a nice bit of cover. Okay. Are we... Um, no, there's no encounters, so let's just let's get you guys all the way to limestone today. Okay. There's no random so ben, encounters. Ben can, I, I have to rest yeah. first, but I can just nap and then Sillips is in my carriage. I'm sure we can carry that stuff anyway. It doesn't sound too heavy. No, it's not too heavy. Oh, okay. Then we can, we we can just walk, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to mark two days off for the two days that it takes to get you there, and you guys will be in limestone on mid-afternoon, midday, I guess, not mid-afternoon, nice. midday. On October the twenty third, which is a Sunday. Excellent. Yeah. Can we get some XP now? Yeah. Yes. I feel like it should be a little fair bit, right? Well, you killed a giant and two greater basilisks. Uh, while we're on the road to limestone, then the and next day, on the second day, I cast a neutralized poison on myself. Good call. And right, two so, baby basilisks and a grizzly bear. Uh, grizzly yep. bear is nope. That's cave bear experience one. Grizzly bear experience. Grizzly bear experience. Two oh. hatchlings. Two hatchlings. <sighs> right up, Asilus. God, I, what spells did I cast? Shit. <laughs> That's why I, I just spark them all down under my spell list. Okay. Bear. Basilisks. Um, let's also do baby basilisks are worth... A bit. Plus hill giant. We have two. Oh man, the hill giant plus two greater basilisks. We better. We should get some uh, some good XP from this. Two two crowns. Now you can both crown yourself kings of this land. Okay. Well, one's a queen's crown, so I guess Malachi will be queen of the land. So <laughs> for combat. Because um, there's no quest experience involved in any of this. Okay. For combat, you all take home 6,340. Mm -hmm. um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yep. Neil, can I get XP for the continual light spells and the clair clairvoyance or not? I don't, I'm not. I'm like, I don't care either way. So um, take them for the continual light stones. Uh, don't take them for the clairvoyance. Yeah, the clairvoyance didn't really do anything uh, new. Yeah, you've already explored that area. Um, okay. Um, Malachi, take 100 for the idea of the, the lightstone skipping. It's cool. Idea that saves a party. Is there any party saving moment here that you guys had? I don't think so. I don't no. think we were ever in like serious danger as Except a group. For, yeah, not as Speak a group. Speak for yourself. Um... Okay, per hit die of creature defeated. Kine, are you ready to level up five times? <laughs> I mean, we did kill a few like strong things, but it's probably not compared to like killing 50 goblins. Let's, let's figure it out. Where's our kill giant? Kill giants have 12 hit dice. Plus two greater basilisks, which each have seven hit dice. Right? Do they have seven? I think they have seven. They have ten. Ten plus. Double check. You're telling me a greater basilisk has as many hit dice almost as a, a giant? Yeah. It's worth yeah, like worth twice as much XP, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, because they, they insta kill you. <laughs> yeah. There's two things. All right. So you have 36 hit die defeated. Um. And you are what level? Uh, I'm level 5, so 50. So times 50, so 1,800 experience, 1,800. Um, Van, how many spells did you cast? 26 spell levels. Oh, shit, did you cast 26 spell levels on? I guess you did Lots use... of healing. Lots of healing, and then quite a few um, just like other spells, like neutralize poison, yeah, yeah. hold poison, slow cool. poison, stuff like that. And Malachi, how many spell levels did you cast? 35. All right. So I'll, I'll go through if you want. Seven magic missiles, shadow monster, slow, levitate, stone skin three times, detect magic, continual light three times. Damn. Okay. So the party is... I've, you get multiplied by 50 or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, Nia, did I not get anything for the hatchlings oh. and bear? For the, we, yeah, the what? Happened. Hatchlings and bear. You got experience for the hatchlings. The bear? Um, the yeah. bear, I don't... 
hold on. Let me let me do all the math again because I don't remember anymore. Um, and you get, it's twelve and you get plus two. twenty plus four plus how much HP uh, hit dice are the grizzly bear? Is it four hit dice? Five hit dice? I don't know. Let me check. You got the hatchlings. The bear is five hit die um, times fifty, so it's two thousand and fifty experience. So don't don't forget a hundred for recap and two hundred for role playing. I assume as well. Yes, hundred yeah. for recap, two hundred for role playing. Okay. Um, and it, the six thousand four hundred thirty or whatever was correct. You did include the bear yes, XP. Yes, I included the bear XP for that. Okay. And there's a times that by one point one. I got eight thousand seven hundred thirty four this session. Right. Nine thousand three hundred thirty nine. Eight thousand six hundred ninety. Woo! Uh, anyone level up? No, I'm, I'm twenty nine thousand five hundred off. Okay, I'm so three hundred off. Kine is at level five, and Malachi and Van Helsing are both at level seven. Yep. Coolio. But I only need three thousand to level up. Well then, uh, maybe we'll see you hit level eight next level. Next time. Maybe. Um, so for now, you guys are in limestone. I'm just gonna circle it on the map. Um, and we will see you guys. Oh God, when can we play? Oh, um, yeah. um uh, I can't do this weekend, obviously. No, I can't do this weekend. Um, I can't do next weekend. I could do Thursday or Friday next week. Me too. Those should be good. Nick? Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Thursday next week at noon Pacific time. Uh, and we'll see you guys then for more Hardcore Heroes. So take care, everybody. Good night and goodbye. See ya.